Few Jamaicans realize that beneath the familiar red earth of our bauxite mines lies a potential fortune. 50 million tons of rare earth elements, critical for electric vehicles, smartphones, and even military technology. Long dismissed as waste, this red mud could hold the key to Jamaica's economic future, with analysts estimating potential earnings ranging from hundreds of billions to over 1 trillion US dollars if fully developed. The global race for rare earths has never been more intense. As countries scramble to secure supplies for green energy and high-tech manufacturing, Jamaica suddenly finds itself holding a card the world desperately wants. But opportunity comes with risk. If we hesitate, these riches could slip through our fingers, enriching others while Jamaicans are left behind. In this video, we uncover the truth about Jamaica's rare earth minerals, the untapped treasure that could reshape our economy, and the fierce competition already brewing for control of it. The Secret in Jamaica's Red Mud For decades, Jamaica's bauxite industry has churned out millions of tons of alumina, leaving behind mountains of red mud, once seen as a useless, toxic byproduct. But recent scientific studies revealed that this residue holds some of the highest concentrations of rare earth elements found anywhere in the world. In 2013, Japan's Nippon Light Metals partnered with the Jamaica Bauxite Institute JBI, to build a pilot plant to extract these elements, sparking hope for a new industry. Yet the project stalled when global rare earth elements prices collapsed, leaving the red mud undisturbed. Now, with demand for rare earth elements soaring again thanks to electric cars and renewable energy, the potential value of Jamaica's waste has been thrust back into the spotlight. Analysts estimate that a single ton of processed ore could yield tens of thousands of dollars in rare earth elements value, transforming what was once an environmental liability into a national asset. These rare earths are not just valuable, they're strategic. Countries that control them hold power over the future of technology. The question is, will Jamaica seize this moment or watch as others mine our red earth for profit? The New Gold Rush Geofisks and others. Enter Geofisks Jamaica LTD, a local exploration company leading the charge to unlock this hidden wealth. In 2023, Geofisks announced the discovery of at least 50 million tons of rare earth elements rich laterite in St. Elizabeth, one of the largest such finds in recent memory. Conservative estimates suggest this deposit alone could generate hundreds of billions of dollars in gross revenue with even a fraction of that capable of transforming Jamaica's economy. Geofisks holds more than 70 exploration licenses, mapping potential rare earth elements hotspots across the island. Cutting-edge electromagnetic surveys and drilling programs hint that the true scale of Jamaica's rare earth deposits could be even larger, drawing interest from international investors and technology firms eager to secure their supply chains. But as competition heats up, hard questions arise. Who will benefit most from this newfound wealth? Will Jamaica develop its own refining capacity or see its resources exported for pennies on the dollar? The answers will determine whether this boom leaves Jamaicans richer or just watching from the sidelines. The 2021 Government Warning Over the time, it's exciting. And when Commissioner and the geophysics team have told me that the, some of the survey results they have picked up have indicated that they need to proceed. And if you spend over a billion dollars on phase one and phase two, and you get an indication to move forward, it therefore tells me that we are at the cups of a brand new industry. And while nothing has been found yet or confirmed, what is clear is that the indicators tell us that something is afoot. And therefore, I am very, very proud as Minister of Mining to see that it's a Jamaican company because we have had companies from overseas all the while putting down their claims. But this is the first time such a comprehensive program has been done outside of what was done by CEDA a few years ago. In 2021, then Minister of Transport and Mining Robert Montague sounded the alarm in Parliament. Jamaica might already be missing out on the rare earth boom. He revealed that residues from Jamaica's bauxite were being processed abroad, 
where companies were extracting rare earth elements without paying Jamaica a cent. The ministry even sought legal advice on whether the Mining Act covered these cases and what royalties might be owed. Editorials in major newspapers press for answers. How much of Jamaica's rare earth elements wealth had already been taken? And why wasn't the country moving faster to capture value at home? Montague assured the public that the JBI was still working on extraction methods, but skepticism remained. Many feared that without urgent action, Jamaica would lose the next great resource windfall, just as it had lost others before. That moment was a wake-up call. Today, with rare earth elements prices climbing and global demand exploding, the stakes are far higher. Failure to act could cost Jamaica not just billions, but its best chance in decades to break free of economic dependence. Opportunities and Risks Rare earth mining could be a game-changer for Jamaica, generating revenues in the hundreds of billions and creating thousands of skilled jobs. Even under conservative projections, net economic value could exceed 400 billion US dollars over the life of the deposits. For a country long searching for new growth engines, rare earth elements offer a tantalizing opportunity to rewrite the economic story. But risks loom large. Extraction requires advanced technology and tight environmental controls. Without strong oversight, mining could harm fragile ecosystems, contaminate water supplies, and displace communities. There's also the danger of foreign companies taking the lion's share of profits, leaving Jamaica with little more than scarred land and unfulfilled promises. To succeed, Jamaica must develop its rare earth elements sustainably, maximizing national benefit, ensuring transparency in deals, and building the capacity to process and refine at home. Anything less, and this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity could become another tale of lost potential. The future, Jamaica's place in the global tech war. Rare earths are the building blocks of the future, essential for electric vehicles, renewable energy, and advanced defense systems. Control over rare earth elements supply chains has become a strategic priority for the world's superpowers. With its newly confirmed reserves, Jamaica could emerge as a pivotal player in this global race. But time is not on our side. Other countries are moving fast to lock in supply, and the window of opportunity won't stay open forever. If Jamaica delays, it risks watching others claim the riches beneath our feet, wealth that could reshape our economy for generations. The question is no longer whether Jamaica has rare earths. It's whether we have the vision, technology, and willpower to turn this hidden treasure into prosperity. The rare earth race has begun. Will Jamaica win?